Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish and Department of Revenue Secretary Rick Chandler have been traveling the state for the past couple months to get input from Wisconsin residents on taxes in Wisconsin. Recently, Clayfish sat down with the MacGyver Institute to discuss what people have been telling them. The governor had asked some time ago for the Revenue Secretary, Rick Chandler, and I to travel the state to figure out how we can engage Wisconsinites in long-term overarching tax reform because he's committed to lowering the overall tax burden in Wisconsin. What we've heard with great consistency now, two themes. One, taxes are just too complicated in our state. Number two, probably doesn't surprise you and certainly didn't surprise the governor, Taxes are just too expensive. It is a huge burden on the people of Wisconsin, and we need to do something about it. It turns out Wisconsin residents have a reason to say taxes are too high. Right now we're looking at a tax burden that is number 10 in the country. We're number 10 in property tax, 12 in income tax, 35 in sales tax, but unfortunately that puts us on the top 10 of a bad list. If you average all those together, Unfortunately, we are number 10. At the tax reform roundtables, some residents have said property taxes are their main concern. We had two out-of-state workers come to our Superior Roundtable. They worked in Wisconsin, but they lived out of state. They chose to live in Duluth instead of Superior, despite the fact that probably would have been far closer for their commute. However, the property taxes made it nearly impossible for them to sell their homes and move here across the border to Wisconsin. Others, however, would like to see a lower income tax rate. We need changes for people like the mom in Platteville, who is sitting about three seats down from me, who said, I've raised a really bright boy. My son is in Shanghai, he's in finance, and he wants to come back to the United States. But when he looks at the different states where he could move and be successful, he looks at the seven states that don't have an income tax. Clayfish encouraged Wisconsinites to go online to give their input on tax reform in the state and how best to lower the tax burden while keeping government spending in check. Out of these tax reform roundtables and this web table at www.taxreform.wi.gov, you are going to get the ideas on driving down the tax burden. This is not about an exchange. This is not about robbing Peter to pay Paul. This is about driving down taxes. What we don't know is what that looks like to people. For the MacGyver Institute, I'm Haley Sinclair.